been the biggest learning curve so far? I think it's just learning all the plays. Um, so different to what I'm used to. Uh, obviously in rugby you don't have to learn as much, but I think physically, um, I think I'm in good shape. I think rugby really prepared me for this um, with the conditioning, just being in physical shape. Um, I think the biggest difference is just mental, just staying on top of things, staying on top of the playbook and making no mistakes. Remind me, but before the halfway really started, I think there were days where you practiced in pads, is mm -hmm. that correct? Yes, sir. How many of those days did you have and what were you trying to get the most out of before obviously transitioning to being on the pads in an NFL camp? Yeah, um, so with the international player pathway, we were in there for about two months, pads and helmet. Um, so I was just trying to get used to it, to be honest. Obviously, never training with pads and a helmet is <laughs> quite unusual, but you know that really prepped me to, to be able to come in here and you know kind of get the, the ball rolling straight away, not having to get used to you know the pads and the helmet. Um, so yeah, I'm, I was pretty prepared for that. How are you as far as comfort level when it comes to lining up and, and waiting for the beginning of the play and so on and so forth? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I'm non-stop trying to learn this playbook because, you know, as soon as I, I can start, um, you know, not having to think about playing and just playing fast, that's the biggest thing for me. Uh, How many hours like, are you spending on it just to... Oh, I mean, we don't finish meetings until 8 p.m. and <laughs> I probably go to bed at 10 p.m. So an extra two hours just learning the plays, um, you know, because I'm playing catch up with, you know, a lot of people that have played American football since they were little kids, six years old. So. Um, you know, there's no time to rest for me. I've got to, you know, give this my all because ultimately this is my dream. And to make it come true, then I've got to, I've got to play. Um, I've got to be a step ahead of, ahead of a lot of people. What's a successful, what's a successful season look like for you this year? Just, just your rookie season. What's that going to look like at the end for you to look back on and call it a success? I mean, the first goal is to make the team. Um, you know, I know special teams is going to be massive for me. I've been working really hard on that with um, Coach Tobes and, and Coach Hill. Um, and just learning the playbook, as I said, learning the running back roles, being able to learn pass protection, um, and then learning my routes off that. I think, you know, all of it adds up. And uh, the, the main way I'm going to make this team is by learning, learning pass protection and, and be able to be a, a key role on special teams. And how has the team rallied around you? Have you, have you talked about you're learning the playbook, you're you're doing all this. How have they rallied around you and helped you? Or is there anyone specific maybe that has helped you? I mean, everyone's been so helpful. All the running back room, we're a very tight knit group. Um, you know, we're all trying to push each other, challenge each other every day. Um, and, you know, we're all behind each other, especially, you know, quarterbacks are, re are very helpful. Um, you know, the likes of Pat, Carson, um, you know, Ian and Chris, you know, everyone's so helpful in trying to especially me, you know, a new guy coming in and, and not really knowing, knowing much about a playbook, trying to, you know, allow me to learn, give me time, uh, but at the same time pushing me as hard as I can because, um, you know, I need to try and learn this quick because <laughs> there's not much time. Uh, you know, training camp's only, what, two months. Um, so I've got to learn it as quick as I can um, and just give it my best effort. If I can, about being in pass for the first time, yeah. is, there, is there a difference in terms of how you have to run the, the running style or just overall difference between rugby just what was that experience I guess like and is there uh, a key difference that you had to figure out even before obviously joining the team yeah I think the biggest thing is pad level um, you know not standing upright allowing the defense to give an e easy push on you uh, you know dropping your body height uh, bracing for, for, for tackles um, you know everything everything's completely different <laughs> so I mean it's a completely different sport so you know I'm trying to learn um, as much as I can you know and try and bring what I've got already in rugby to, to, the, to the American football side of it and, um, you know, just give it my all. What were you anticipating in kind of your first pad in practice, your first preseason game, even getting to a regular season game, as far as getting that first contact and kind of experience? Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see the difference. Um, you know, I get that question all the time, you know, what's, what's harder, hitting rugby or American football, but we'll soon find out. Um, you know, it's going to be fun. You know, I've played a contact sport since I was 12 years old. We started, we started contact in rugby and, um, you know, that's bone on bone, but we'll see see what it's like when it when we come to pads. We kind of obsess over here about metrics, you know, it's all about the combine and your numbers. Yeah. I know you did like a international pathway testing. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you ran like a 4-4-3. Did you do any prep for that? Do you feel like that's accurate of you? Or? No, I was running way quicker than that. <laughs> I didn't have a great day there, but um, ultimately it got me the opportunity to come here. Um, you know, I was running high 4-2s, low 4-3s, and it came to it and I just couldn't get my legs going, to be honest. But, you know, I, I didn't get too down about that. Um, you know, I had opportunities elsewhere, and, and this was the place I wanted to be, um, especially with the coaching staff and the players they've got.
it was on Sunday. I think you get your first taste of Chiefs Kingdom with the fans yes, coming sir. out here. Uh, what do you know about Chiefs Kingdom? What are your expectations? What are you hoping to see on Sunday? Oh, I know that crazy for the Chiefs. Um, you know, um, I've been luckily enough. I've been in teams that have had massive support. Um, and you know that's that's always what I want to be a part of. Uh, you know these fans are incredible. Um, unfortunately, I haven't been to Arrowhead to watch a game, but I've heard um, you know how good it is, how loud the fans are, how obsessed they are with the team, and um, obviously winning helps that. And we're going to continue to try and do that this year. Speaking of rugby, I know Patrick said he brought a TV for only two reasons, and one of those is the Olympics. I mean, how are you going to look? How are you going to feel supporting your guys? You know, as they go through the process. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm excited. You know, the Olympics is obviously massive back home, especially. Um, but yeah, a lot of it is sevens. So there's rugby union, which is fifteens, and then sevens, which is played in the Olympics. Um, and it's an exciting sport. I mean, those boys are they're pretty quick and pretty agile. So you know, hopefully, I can I can get a little a little tip or tip or two off them. When was the last time you were in a dorm? Uh, so I went to. This is confusing because we finished high school back home at 16, and then we go to like a college at 16 to 18 before university. So between the ages of 16 and 18, I was staying in dorms um, away from my family, about an hour and a half. So I mean, I'm pretty used to dorms. Uh, they're pretty nice here. We get our own rooms. Um, we just share share bathrooms and stuff. So I'm, I mean, I'm used to it. So. Lewis, you talked about your learning curve. About is there anything maybe that you're proud of yourself that you're picking up, whether it's uh, in the backfield or running routes? Is there something that you're kind of like you feel like you're getting something? Yeah, I mean, uh, the playbook. Uh, the coaches are helping me massively on trying to pick that up as quick as possible. Um, you know, I know pass protection is massive. I've never done that before coming here. Um, so it's just trying to pick up things as quick as possible, um, you know, really dive into the playbook and, and learn the, not just my role, but try and learn concepts as well, um, you know, from the receivers ever in case, you know, they want me to jump in there, then I can, I can do a job. So, um, yeah, just trying to learn as much as possible and, you know, credit to the coaches. They've been very helpful with me. Lewis, they were, they were calling you Reese Lightning online. What are your thoughts on that nickname? I mean, I like it. I've <laughs> I've ran pretty quick in uh, in my time in rugby, so it's time to, to see if I can replicate that in the uh, in the NFL. Hey, Lewis, you mentioned special, more. you mentioned special teams. They've both been pretty creative in the past. Obviously, you can do a lot of things with yeah. lateral. I mean, have you gotten a glimpse of what they might have planned for you? Do you think it's going to be pretty imaginative to see it out there? I mean, no one's obviously this kickoff rules are new, so no one's no one knows what's going to come. Uh, so we have got some creative plays, um, obviously not to mention now, but hopefully you'll see them in the first preseason games. Um, but yeah, Coach Toves and, and Coach Hill are, are very creative people. So, um, you know, I'm just giving it my all on the field and, and trying to be uh, the best player possible, the best person possible for the team. Would that be fun? Yeah. I mean, it's going to be fun. <laughs> Uh, just a question for you, just kind of outside of football, how is your time in Missouri, your time in Kansas City, your time in St. Joseph? Just are you enjoying it? How, how's your lifestyle now? Yeah, I mean, this was my dream from a little boy to be able to play in the NFL, you know, join a team um, and, and join a team like this is incredible. I'm incredibly proud, proud of myself and I'm proud of, um, you know, the journey I've been on. Um, but yeah, Missouri, Kansas City, um, yeah, I'm loving living there. Uh, it's a great place. Um, you know, when you go outside, you get fans coming up to you, and it's always great to be able to be noticed. And um, you know, I want to play a, a part in this team, and uh, the way I'm going to do that is obviously through training camp, show show the capabilities that I can do, and um, and go from there and see what the coaches think of me. Your first uh, practice game is about three weeks away. What's that event going to be like for you, suiting it up for real down in Florida? Yeah, it's going to be exciting. Um, you know, I've played in front of big crowds. Um, so I don't think the occasion is going to get to me, um, but obviously it's going to be a proud day for myself and my family if I get on the field. Um, and then it's just about showing what I can do. You know, every time I get the ball in my hands, being able to be a difference maker um, and just being able to help the team as much as I can. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm very excited for that day.